So I actually wore the original Burberry Hero recently and I was reminded of how it's a really nice and a really pleasant peppery woodsy fragrance with multiple types of cedar wood. Well, in 2022, we have the brand new flanker. This one here is called Burberry Hero and this is the Eau de Parfum. I'm sure by next year we'll have the Parfum strength, but this is a fragrance that has a DNA similar to the original, has some added notes in here. I'm excited to tell you all about this brand new composition, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's video and I tell you all about Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum, the original is the Eau de Toilette. I do wanna start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload videos to the channel and that's on a daily basis. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode. So this fragrance just came out. The perfumer is Ohelian Guichard and this fragrance fragrance has three types of cedar wood. I believe there's Himalayan cedar, Atlas cedar, and Virginian cedar. And so it has a very woodsy base, but it also has some other dark ingredients in here too. So there is pine needles, if I'm remembering correctly, and there's also incense. Now there are some resins, some balsamic ingredients. Benzoin is one of them. And benzoin has a bit of a medicinal smell with a vanillic overtone. So certainly it seems like they're taking it in a warmer, richer, more incense -y, balsamic and ambery direction with this flanker. I'm gonna let you know how close I think it is to the original, which one I prefer, and also any comparisons to other fragrances that it might smell like on the market. Let's take a quick look at the presentation first. Now, right in the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get this resinous richness from the fragrance. The benzoin in here is loud and clear and exactly like I described it before, it has a bit of like a medicinal quality, very dark, rich, viscous, syrupy even, but it has a vanillic overtone. So it, there is a touch of sweetness in this fragrance and traditionally speaking, amber perfumes do tend to be a little bit sweet depending on how the ingredients are balanced that that amber accord is comprised of. But of course you also get the woodsy components. You also get a little bit of like a spicy take, a little bit of the incense, which is really more of like a raw resin type of a reflection as opposed to like a smoky fragrance. Cause I really don't find this to be smoky. But if I'm being totally honest with you, as soon as I smelled this, I said, this reminds me of something. And it didn't take long for me to make the connection. This fragrance reminds me at least in the opening of Stronger With You by Emporio Armani. It's very close to Stronger With You. And look, if you like Stronger With You, I think you're gonna really, really enjoy this fragrance. Stronger With You is sweet, vanillic, it's a little bit nutty. I know since its release, there's been a few other fragrances that have a very similar smell. Valentino Uomo Born in Roma Coral Fantasy is another one that kind of smells like Stronger With You, if I'm remembering correctly. I think I have the right flanker in mind. So here you have a fragrance that opens up with that sweet smell that you also get from Emporio Armani. It has a little bit of like a vanilla in here, even though there's no vanilla in the note breakdown, but it also has that green quality lingering underneath. So as far as those pine needles are concerned, yes, you are gonna get something coniferous. You're gonna get something piney, something green and verdant, and then as you give it a chance to dry down, it really becomes more woodsy and ambery. Now, in terms of the ratio and the balance of different cedar wood ingredients, I really can't tell you that. I don't know. I think, you know, had it been a bit more natural, I probably would have had more of a say in terms of what that, you know, distribution is like. I know Virginian cedar, for example, can be a little bit peppery. There are certain fragrances out there like Mr. Marvelous by Byredo and even Super Cedar by Byredo that are amazing expressions of cedar. I don't get anything as natural smelling in this fragrance, but I do get this sort of ambery, slightly green, slightly incense-y fragrance without being smoky while also having a touch of vanilla in here. So for me, if you can imagine Stronger With You, if you've had the opportunity to try that fragrance, if you can imagine a woodsier and slightly more green version of that fragrance, that's pretty much what you're gonna get with Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum. In terms 
terms of comparisons to the original, it's closer in the dry down in the opening, it's so different. So I think as a consumer, you'll smell it and you will immediately notice the differences However, if you were expecting the difference to be mild, you might be disappointed and that might be a criticism for you. For me personally, I do like that whole Azaro wanted by night, that dark sort of a spicy, ambery smell. I love that, right? So I purchased it. I'm very happy with my purchase. I just think that it does stray in a much different direction from the original. The original was more of like a fresh, aromatic, spicy, woodsy fragrance. And this has all of those incense balsamic, rich, resinous characteristics with the pine needles. So it does go in a very different direction. Try it for yourself. Go out there, put your nose on it. I bought mine from Macy's a few weeks ago so it's been out for a while now so see if you can get your nose on it and I I hope you like it I always hope that my subscribers like the fragrances that they try I never want anybody to blind buy anything or to purchase anything whether it was blind or not and to end up hating it I I never wish for that so I hope you love it thank you for watching let's finish things off with my overall assessment now first up in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell not very unique it smells very similar to stronger with you by Emporio Armani whether it smells closer to the original or one of the flankers don't ask me I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna have to juxtapose them to be able to determine that but it does have a familiar quality about it long Longevity on this one is about eight hours, so the longevity is very good. Quite average given the Eau de Parfum concentration. In terms of the projection, it projected about an arm's length for the first hour to hour and a half. It became an elbow's length scent right around hour five. It became a skin scent right around hour eight. In terms of the versatility, this one is great for the cold weather, so don't wear this one yet. Even if you do end up purchasing it now, do a few sprays, let it sit on the shelf so they can macerate a little bit longer and it'll be even stronger in the winter. I think this one does lean a little bit masculine because of some of the darker ingredients in here. And I think this one will probably appeal to somebody who's a little bit younger because of the sweetness. But in the dry down, I can see somebody who's a little bit more experienced with fragrances really enjoying this fragrance as well. In terms of the presentation, I like the darker look of the bottle. My final verdict on this fragrance is I think it's a solid fragrance. I don't think it's too original. I think it has a lot of redeeming notes in here, but I think it could potentially cause some consumer confusion given the fact that it is a pretty strong deviation from the original Burberry Hero and I did try them side by side to make sure that my mind wasn't playing tricks on me and ultimately it's a good fragrance but try it for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review on the brand new Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum. If you own or have tried this fragrance or the original, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. If you would like to see me do a comparison video, also leave a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to do that. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and give it a thumbs up. Love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.